This morning, though, Britain's prime minister is calling for new tough rules for the press while his former spokesman is being questioned by police in connection with a phone hacking scandal at Britain's largest Sunday newspaper. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer is in London with the latest for us this morning. Liz, good morning. Good morning. Well, this scandal is now six years old, but it just won't quit. It's now dragged in members of the media, uh, the police, and also the senior members of British, uh, Britain's political establishment. With the news of the world scandal now threatening his morning, own everyone. political Thank reputation, the Prime Minister vowed to get to the bottom of this gigantic mess. We turned a blind eye to the need to sort this issue, to get on top of the bad practices to change the way our newspapers are regulated. Isn't it time you said not that you take responsibility, but you screwed up? Cameron personally chose the former editor of the News of the World as his communications advisor. Andy Colson, who resigned six months ago, was this morning arrested, as was the former News of the World royal editor, Clive Goodman, who's already done jail time for phone hacking. The News of the World has been a Sunday institution in Britain for 168 years, selling more than two million copies a week with a mixture of gossip, girls and sensational tabloid stings. Like this one last year where a reporter recorded Sarah Ferguson, ex-wife of Prince Andrew, offering to sell access to him for $800,000. In fact, the news of the world's undoing began with another member of the royal family, Prince William. In 2005, he read details in the paper that could only have come from his personal voicemail. Police tracked the hacking to the news of the world. That was bad enough, but over the years, it turned out celebrities had been hit too, as had the family of a murdered teenager and the families of British soldiers killed in action. The media titan Rupert Murdoch, who owns the News of the World, has so far refused to comment. But now the blame game has begun. Many fingers are pointing at Rebecca Brooks, now a senior executive with Murdoch's empire, but who was, at the time, the editor of the News of the World. Now, so far, the Murdochs are defending uh, Rebecca Brooks's job and her ethics, but this story is far from over, Chris. Liz, what has been the response by the media there uh, in regards to what's happened with this paper now just going away after 168 years? Well, it's a bombshell. It's a great sadness because it's tradition, but uh, there's just a lot of speculation about what's to come. More arrests, perhaps, certainly more resignations, and a lot of interest in how this is going to affect the Murdoch business empire. Uh, I see the stock is down 4% of the parent company in New York this morning, and one of uh, their biggest deals, the takeover of a satellite television company here in Britain, has now been delayed. Chris? Mm, yes, a 12 billion pound deal, which we will talk about in just a second. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer in London for us this morning. Liz, thank you.